It's on its last leg. Come on here. Okay. What is going on, folks? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a hot minute. I know. Just a tad bit unfortunate. The sun has gone away once again. It has been cloudy and cold for the last like three days in a row, which is not what we like to see, but it is what it is. But you know, I took a few days off to chill. It has been very cold today. I was having the itch, so we're back outside. But uh, yeah, that's what I've been up to. Uh, yesterday was Valentine's Day, so you know we did that whole thing. And uh, yeah. Okay, this wall has been freshly packed up since the last time I've been out here. A little bit of stuff all over the place over here. A lot more graffiti than the last time I was out here, actually. Yeah, it was kind of a lot. This alley's sick. I wanted to check it out last time I came out this way. I just didn't get the chance to. What is that? It looks like you can get under the house right there. This alley's sick. Never actually stopped to check this one out. <laughs> um, so, this should be the week where I get my new electric bike. I don't know if it's actually going down, but uh, it's supposed to happen this week. I don't know. I guess you guys will find out as well as I do. Um, so that's something that might be happening. I'm totally still don't know yet, though. So, kind of like, oh, look at this. This is kind of like, I was kind of like a sick hill climb. Somewhat out of the loop of making videos. I feel like it's, been, it's only been like three or four days, but I got to get the dust off, and get back to it. That was a little sketchy. <laughs> oh man, today we're going in a different direction. We're gonna take this street right here called Temple. And we're just gonna shred down it a little bit, see what we can get ourselves into. See if we can get around. Oof. <laughs> I was sitting and watching some of my videos over the weekend. I'm like, dude, I gotta get more like some type of free riding in when I'm out filming. I need to like jump off of some stuff or jump up some stuff. Something needs to be jumped. We gotta do more jumping. What we got on the agenda today? Really, I'm just out cruising. I, I really have no set plan. Oops. Child labor. Anyways, I feel like I have brain fog. Like I just don't know what I'm talking about or doing. So uh, I'm just gonna ride today. If I don't make any sense of what I'm saying or what I'm doing. Uh, my apologies in advance. I wasn't even gonna film today, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get out and try and make something happen. And uh, here we are. My plan was to kind of go around this neighborhood that I never actually have checked out because I just haven't. So <laughs> that's kind of what the plan is today. It's dead end actually. Right on the other side of this wall is the freeway. So that's where we're gonna end up to keep going that way. So I'm feeling good though. Fully charged battery, so that's always a good thing. We might end up getting all the way over into Silver Lake today, so we'll see where the ride takes us. Here is the freeway. The freeway we're going to be following alongside today. Trying to keep us grounded, you know. Oh, look, you can get on the freeway right here. This is the freeway. You can go down there. Let's actually do it. This looks kind of sick. This is kind of sketch. I was just telling a story, next thing I know. We hit the freeway. Dude, what is going on back here? Oh my God. Is there a way out through here? I don't know if there is. I don't think so. I think we might have to turn all the way back. There's definitely a homeless camp. No, I don't think I can get out through here. I could go around that camp, but I think I'm good on that. Ugh. Ugh. We take the sidewalk right here. This part of town is super cool. This is not that much uh, going on. It's very hilly, so we're looking for stuff to jump on. I don't like riding around on this side of town. We're actually going to start heading towards Westlake. I'm not too crazy about riding out here. It's just too much unpredictable stuff going on. Too many hills, driveways, streets. Where can we go from here? I smell a fire, Loki. Something's on fire. Did I just see a guy on a Suron? I, I don't know if that was a motorcycle or what. I'm actually going to pull up on him. It kind of looks like a Suron, but not really. Making our way into K-Town now. Through historic Filipino town. Coming that hill. We were going to do Silver Lake, but... 
couple of uh, minutes in, I was like, eh, nah, this is not really where I want to be at today. This guy looks like a, a trickster. He's out. I don't know. He's going that way. I did want to catch up to him and say what's up, but he's doing his own thing. Yeah, so I am very hyped still about this new bike I'm getting. I just wish I had more details about it. I, I honestly don't even know much about it at this point either. I still think I'm getting it. As you guys are going to find out hopefully this week, but up here on a Beverly and Benton Way, they keep going straight for a little bit longer. Ugh. Yeah, so in other news, I got a ticket on a Valentine's Day, which was yesterday. <laughs> I didn't really plan on mentioning that, but I was like, you know what? Why not just uh, tell you guys what happened? So, yeah, I was crossing this same intersection that I always park at. The same one that I always park at, pretty much. I am going through it. Came to a complete stop, but apparently I didn't stop long enough, which I did not know was a thing. I have gotten three stop sign tickets in my life this is the third and after the second one i was like okay i am never coming to anything less than a complete stop at a stop sign ever again and uh so i came to a complete stop but apparently i didn't stop for long enough so it felt like it, it felt like total entrapment to be honest i mean it was just like it was totally bogus but apparently you have to stop for three seconds you have to stop for a full three seconds when you stop at a stop sign in california i didn't know that was a thing i mean i i feel like it's not but as, as apparently it is so yeah i got a ticket and i am gonna have to do traffic school so that happened um yeah i was pretty bummed it was uh it was pretty stressful too i got pulled over and then the cops the, the cops said probably like a total of like 10 words to me in the entire encounter but he kept me there for like uh, probably almost an hour. That's a little bit of cap. I want to say like 45 minutes though, legit like 45 minutes. Pulled me over, came straight up to me and said, hey, do you have license and proof of insurance? And I said, yeah. So I gave him my license and then I pulled up on my phone, my proof of insurance through Progressive for my car. And he was like, okay, give me one second. And then uh, he walked away and he was at his car for a long time. We did it. Uh, yeah, and then he was in his car, dude, for like 30 minutes straight. For like, after like 20 minutes, I was starting to think like, dude, what is happening? Am I gonna get, is he, like, is he pulling up a crate? Do I have a record that I don't even know about or something? And then two other squad cars pulled up. So then it was three squad cars behind me. And I'm just sitting there like, uh, am I going to jail? Like, or am I, or like what's, what's about to happen? And then, you know, two of them left, and then it was just the original cop again, and he comes back, and he hands me a ticket. He's like, okay, so this is a ticket for running a stop sign. We stop at a stop sign in California. You have to wait at least three seconds. And uh, he asked me to sign. You know, he said, it's not an admission of guilt, whatever. It's been typical ticket stuff. You ever got a ticket, like a, a moving violation in California? It was that. So I started asking some questions. I was like, so, you know, do I have to come out here to go to court? He's like, no, you can pay for it online. You have to go to traffic school if you want to get the point taken off. So it doesn't count against your insurance, blah, blah, blah. And I pleaded with him. I was like, dude, I haven't gotten a ticket in probably like nine years. Like, I know you definitely just saw my record. You know, I don't make mistakes when I'm driving. So can I possibly get a pass here? You know, maybe just like get off with a warning. And he thought about it for a hot second. And then he decided against it. He was like, no, nah, unfortunately, there's not going to be a warning. I already wrote the ticket. You're going to have to pay for it. If you want to be in court, here's the date. It's in May, uh, May 14th. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments? Should I go fight it in court? Or should I just pay for it and do traffic school and call it a day? My first ticket in in a long time, bro. It's been, it has been years. Many, many, many years. I'm trying to think when my last ticket is. I think it was when I had my M3. As a matter of fact, it, was, it wasn't when I had my M3. Remember when I, but it wasn't from driving. It was, uh, it was um, when I went to the takeover. If anyone remembers that, I went to the takeover and I got a ticket for spectating, which is now a really common thing. But I remember back then, it almost was like, uh, it was like weird and rare to do that. And it felt like I was getting singled out. And a lot of people were like uh, confused about that. But now it's like pretty common to get a, a spectating ticket because the takeover is like, has just been so popularized due to Instagram and whatnot. So I feel like everybody just kind of knows about what it is. And it's stupid to go. I mean, I wouldn't go to the takeover anymore. I think it's dumb. So there's that. 
cops just took off over something. Imagine I'm getting pulled over again. That'd be actually nuts. I don't care. I'm not trying to get involved with any, uh, any more police stuff. So, uh, yeah, get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about that. Finally got a ticket. It's been a long time. You know, could have been worse, I guess. I always, I always think that about just about everything in life. Could have been worse. And that is why I'm out filming today. <laughs> so I can pay for the ticket. <laughs> no, I was planning on filming anyway today, but it was just kind of funny that happened on Valentine's Day. You know, of all the days that it could have, uh, you know, any second of that would be like my birthday or something, you know. There's my story for the day. Now we're uh, out here in the streets. A little bit of tagging. Yeah, I wasn't even... Uh, planning on doing anything crazy today i just wanted to get out and have a little free ride session i just jump it a little bit more to the best of this bike's capabilities i'm starting as the more i've been riding it lately i feel like i'm getting a little bit better at jumping it and doing stuff like that and just kind of doing a little goofy free ride things matter of fact look at this little curb launch that's sturdy oh that's totally sturdy let's go ahead and scoot this over very hard to hit trying to get momentum for it before it comes up is difficult see if we can make this work oh okay it's just it's not ideal but it works definitely some type of jump anyways with all that said today we are back out in the streets with the heat oh there's so many places i was thinking about when i was on my way down here that i want to check out um supposed to be sunny tomorrow I'm not a fan of filming in the gloomy weather. It just doesn't get my vibes right, but we're still out here doing it. Look at that thing. What the hell is that? Bro, that thing was dead silent. That is the most quiet e-bike I think I've ever heard. Didn't make a single sound. He just took off. <laughs> there was zero sounds coming from that. These bikes are finally getting a little bit more common. That is, uh, usually we see zero. And today we saw two, like, uh, Dirt bike style, you look at this mini truck. Bro, that thing is so sick. <laughs> oh, dude. Any 90s kids remember when those were like a thing? Like mini trucks were like the hottest thing out? Like you weren't the man unless you had a sick mini truck. Literally it looked just like that one. <laughs> oh man, anyways, yeah, we're back here in the alleys. My favorite place to be. Can't get pulled over in an alley. I guess just that totally could, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, yeah. Damn, look at this. Jeez. It just looks like the scene of an accident. You know, so much chaos right here. A lot more taggings. I rarely come up and down these streets. This is, this is like the back way that goes straight to um, MacArthur Park. So it's been a minute since I've been down this set of alleys we'll see how it's changed there's a lot more 18th street than i remember the last time i came down here 18th street pretty much everywhere you look so there's that as we make our way down through to the next one rock stress for less a little bit more tagging it is a gloomy afternoon it's a tuesday too so not much going on out here in the streets. A lot of dirt. Looks like a refrigerator. What? Something banged up against the wall right there. Ooh. Okay. Out here living that street life. That's what's going on right there. This alley right here has become progressively worse and worse the more I come out here. And the last time I checked it out, look at this. I can't even go down anymore, bro. It is just straight up madness it's, it is bad it is bad it's no longer safe to even go down in any capacity it is straight up zombie land but uh it is what it is it's not like i'm complaining about it it's just as you guys know i'm just a people observer making something out of nothing you know what i'm saying back at our favorite place look at this thing Dude, that thing looks pretty beasty. He needs a freaking helmet though. Dude. That scooter looks like super beast, right? Like, I don't know anything about electric scooters, but that one looks super powerful. Doing our typical tear through MacArthur last time we went right. Ah, oh, we're gonna go left. And boom. 
Damn, just run me over, huh? Screw it. Out here in zombie land, straight up, straight up zombie land. Ugh. Crazy out here lately. This has been so much worse than it used to be. Oh. You notice that people tend to cover it. What am I hearing? Oh, it's just a car alarm. Yeah, if you notice people tend to cover their faces when I ride past. That is because they probably think I am police. In reality, I am not. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> so yeah, that's just what's going on. If you notice people covering their faces when I ride past. <sighs> Lion, can we continue through here? Uh, kind of. <laughs> We're getting full sketch with it today. Come on here. Jesus. City of Angels, folks. <laughs> Good old City of Angels. All right, so that brings us uh, back to here. See if we can get across this alleyway. One that I rarely traverse. I'm gonna take this little path right here. Looks like the alley in front of us is gated off. It's kind of accessible. We're gonna check it out and see if we can get through. Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, thanks, brother. <laughs> All right, well, it's gated from one side and not the other. So it looks like we're able to at least make our way out of here. I smell gas, like a strong gas smell. A little bit of tag ends look like straight nonsense. Um, but this goes up and over the hill to another alley. These are some MacArthur Park routes we have not checked out in a long time, so we're gonna indulge. Got the BMX bike getting worked on. What is that thing? What is this? So much poop on the ground. What is this? It looks like it was at a, oh, it looks like an, like an exercise bike or something, huh? I thought this was like an electric bike. It kind of looks like an electric bike. Oh, it is, Veo. I don't know, looks like junk. Anywho, continuing on. Let's see there. Very dirty, glass covered alleyways. We got another one in front of us too. Which we will be checking out. We can get across the street safely. Off we go. See what's going on here. We got some Home Depot trolleys. An electric scooter. Fence. A little bit of tag ins. I think this alley's closed. No, it's not. It's the next one that's closed. Okay. I was about to say, uh oh. Barb wire. Good luck getting in there. Sheesh. Don't ever get locked out of your place. You're probably not getting back in. Next alley in front of us is locked off, so we're gonna go ahead and make this right, see what's going on this way. Got the Corvette, chilling. Starting to have more fun just jumping this bike off curbs like I would my BMX. I'm starting to try and think more like I would ride my BMX when I'm riding this, just like jumping off of random stuff. Cause it's not like I can grind anything. Imagine grinding on the Saron, that would be actually super fire. But you probably immediately destroy Whatever you try to grind on with the very first attempt. So I think you'd only have one shot, but it would be sick. This is the alley I was trying to come back up. This was, I just went down here not too long ago and it's now blocked off, which is interesting. I wonder why. Moody day out here in Los Angeles. Very, very, uh, you know, gloomy day vibes going on out here. Got another alley with lots of tagging, both sides, 38. Lots of different numbers. Got this wall with a bunch of whackouts, graffiti, etc. A grocery cart. Oh. And just a, overall a ton of trash back here. You hate to see it. We go on. What is this guy doing? Take it on the next alley. Still lots of graffiti everywhere you look back here. Slowing down, a lot of you guys said slow down again, even more. 
on the cruises. So when I'm going down the alleys, I'm trying to straight chill. You know, so you guys can uh, get a proper feel for what's going on. Just, you know, LA life. I'm riding through some vile stuff right now. <laughs> I'm definitely going to hit the, hit the lights on, wipe some of the tires before I take this thing in the house. Alright, the man. That guy looks so cool. Common alley we check out. Look at this nice building. Imagine you move here sight unseen and then bam, here's your alley. Sick ass car though. I was actually in pretty good shape compared to how it's been the last few times. I've come to check it out. Mostly cleaned up. I'm trying to jump over as much of this, these puddles of stuff as I can. It's impossible to get all of them though. Jeez. That was an actual uh, exercise. Probably an exercise in futility because I still rode through a bunch of nonsense. Disgusting crap. What a day out in LA, bro. Dude, it's so funny when people see the GoPro on my helmet because obviously I'm rocking a GoPro just to capture whatever goes on, right? But people think I'm like doing surveillance, which is so stupid. Like, well, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's easy for me to say that because I know my intentions, but if you saw someone on the Sauron and they have a helmet with a GoPro on, what would, you, what would your first thought be? I don't know. For me, I just be like, oh, they want to record in case something bad happens or if they're just capturing their adventure. And I mean, I understand that most people just don't want to be on camera at all. So that's fair. But uh, I don't know. I almost feel like a villain sometimes when I'm cruising around. Nice little hill climb. Oh. Getting a little bit loose. Gotta watch out for the birds. They will fly directly in your line. That was fun. Homeboy is getting pulled over. That was me just not too long ago. Unlucky. Another prime example of cops not caring whatsoever to see me on a Suron. Love to see that. Love that. For now, we still have freedom on these, but for how long is still untold. It is a mystery. All right, we're doing a little bit of random zigzagging, but we are about to start shooting back up Alvarado. It was the same way we always go with uh, the talking alley. I like visiting that every time because it's always a little bit crazier each time. So we ha I have a couple other places I want to visit in the next couple days that are further south from LA. So we'll get a little bit of change of scenery in. But today it was just uh, pretty much just a get outside type of day, make something happen. So. Cristo, Cristo, muchos no pueden entenderlo porque no leen la palabra, se dejan guiar por sus padres y hacen lo que les enseñan. Piensa en la voluntad de Dios, pero están haciendo lo que quieran. I don't even know what was going on right there, but we're going to go ahead and keep going. Streets. This is Zombie Land. This <laughs> is craziness right here, bro. Okay, quick battery swap and we're off. Gotta get out of zombie land right now, that's the goal. Look at all this trash. One good street sweep and should take care of most of it though. This guy's getting towed, that is unlucky. Not how you want your Tuesday afternoon to be. All types of random stuff here. Maybe I should come here and get some Get a new yellow hoodie. I've been rocking this hoodie for a cool minute now. It's on its last leg. Okay. 
pulled out something that just happened and uh yeah that's uh that's all i've got to say about that i don't know who i think she was running up to that guy on the moped which is weird or she was just running in traffic dude that guy's tipping like he's getting away holy all right so far well what can i say it's definitely los angeles <laughs> We just did a Los Angeles ride that was uh, unexpected and pretty turned up. See, the thing is, when you come out here, once you start hitting the alleys, like, you're just bound to get involved into some craziness. Like, you're going to see some, some wildness. We went through Zombieland Row. We had a crackhead jump out at a street at us, lunge towards us for some unknown reason, and then decided to immediately turn around. So that was something else that happened. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Just another day in LA though to me. It's another day in LA in the streets. Big day, big day. First day back felt good. Nice quick route folks. We saw the zombies. We saw the park. We came, we saw, we shredded. As always, thanks for watching. If you guys have not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. In the comments, let me know what you guys think. Till next time, stay safe. See you guys later. Peace out.